Sound is rolling. Okay. What is home mean to you? You know, a home is a feeling. It's where you feel the most at peace. When I come home, I forget about every win or every loss that I've had. Because home is like my secure place. It makes me feel a little, almost cut away from the world. Coming home to me was like, I'll just let go. Hi, I'm Sanya Mirza and you're watching me on Asian Paints, Where the Heart Is. Welcome to my home. Hi guys, come in. A lot of my memories revolve around tennis because I started playing tennis at the age of six. So whether it was home, whether it was right outside home, it's difficult for me to say um, that uh, the memories don't involve tennis. This is the space where we spend probably the most time in this house. It is the most spacious sort of living, drawing, slash dining, slash kitchen, which has now been converted into a foosball table area for my four and a half year old son. Basically the informal section of the room, it's all grey and it's really warm. My life has been so much in the public, um, I feel like it's my safe space. Cut off from a little bit of the noise that is around you. It always gave me a little bit of sanity in, in the madness that was around me. Literally every little thing that is here, from the colours, like every detail, even every frame that has been put here, is where I wanted it to be. The reason to move to this area was because of Izhan's school and he really wanted a pool, so we were able to give him that and we, you know, we made the choice to move here. Our age difference is almost eight years. Sometimes I feel like she's the older sister though in this relationship. We are closer than most siblings would be if they were eight years apart. You know, I'm in awe of how she handles pressure. I find it amazing how she takes pressure and how she reacts in pressure. That's pretty amazing. So when I was around 12, 13 is when I started traveling nationally. Yeah. And that's when we actually bonded a lot as a family, not just me and her, but also my parents. how much ever the world uh, revolved around me. She was the baby of the house. We should do interviews more often. She doesn't say this nice things to me <laughs> in person usually. <laughs> With the amount of travel I've had throughout my life, I always tried to find the peace and the stability. Speaking of peace, we have reached the most peaceful room in this home that I have built. This is our prayer room. I come from a belief of extreme spirituality. It just keeps me grounded and this room is where I go when I feel unsettled, when I feel unstable. The colours of the carpet, the colours on the walls, everything is just really, really light. It's just really, really fresh just makes this room almost feel like there's a halo around it and um, makes it look really, really pure. People tend to forget that athletes are human. It's one of the very, probably the only profession where we win and lose on a daily basis. The great part about tennis is that it doesn't give you too much time to either enjoy the victory or either dwell on a loss. I remember winning Wimbledon and Literally within a week, the next following Friday, I was on a flight to Canada. You have to find some sanity and my sanity came from home. And after becoming a mother, my perspective on tennis changed because of that. To just be able to put my feet up and to switch off from the world is a luxury. Whatever we have at hand, we'll solve it. And I think that mentality I've gotten from playing sport. This is my most favourite room. 
and hers as you can see this is the dressing room but this is the room that i feel the most myself in so you can see everything is organized obviously designed um keeping in mind you know with how many shoes i unnecessarily have and i love uh, expressing myself through things that are written on my uh, when i was younger i used to wear them on my t-shirts and now i just wear them on my hats i mean these are probably two of my favorites This is Izhan's room and the first thought was it the room needed to be right next to mine so that he was close. He was a boy and he loves blue so I was like okay let's make it blue and grey and that's how the color actually came along. It's a nice spacious room with a lot of light. Welcome to my bedroom the master bedroom. As you can see there's a lot of um earthy tones uh, used in the bedroom. only thing that brings a lot of color is this green which i love it's the deep bottle green that i really wanted so we got all this paneling done with some mirrors it just gives a little bit of more roomy feeling um you know when you walk in i have a few cards here which i i'm going to go through and i'll just explain how and why i thought of putting the certain things that i have in my home This is actually a very simple centerpiece. I always wanted to make one room very formal because I feel like gold is something that uh, can look very bad if you use it badly. But this very room, this dining and the drawing behind me, uh, I've used some gold accents and it's just to give it a little bit of a grand sort of look. This uh, wall is actually one of my favorite walls in the room. I always um, saw these black and white stripes on a wall and I was like You know it would be so cool uh, to have a room that was just black and white. It's a big room but it makes it cozy and it's actually one of my most favorite walls uh, in the room. This is my most favorite room. It used to be a bedroom. It's all gray and white. It's very simple. There's nothing there except clothes, shoes, things that I use every day. This is my space. Like I think I spend a couple hours a day here just by myself. So that was some pieces of my home and some pieces of my heart. Make it with a lot of love. I think that's what really is important. Some of the most special memories are made just from the small things. This is har ghar kuch kehta hai. I think my ghar says that the home was built with a lot of love. There's a lot of memories that we share with a lot of love. If you are inspired by my home's decor, go to beautifulhomes.com by Asian Paints for a lovely style guide. The food always looks better on her plate. So <laughs> once I got to that maturity level, I'm like, you know what? Let me not waste my energy. Let her order. It looks damn nice. <laughs> It's. Uh, you want to tell them? I'm wearing is her design. Oh. So she's only saying I'm looking very nice today. <laughs> she's constantly saying that. <laughs>